Our tenth and final battle is for the world middleweight title between Colin Fletcher from Sunderland. It's his BKB debut. He's the freak show UFC fighter, very experienced man, against Jimmy Sweeney, the king of BKB. What more could you want? We caught up with both at the uh, pre-fight weigh-in, starting with Colin Fletcher. Colin, uh, it's uh, top of the bill, massive night, and I think it's your BKB, BKB debut. Yeah. What do you know? Are you ready? But I'm always ready. Um, good to go now. It's a sellout crowd. What are they going to see in the ring from you? Oh, God, Naz, man. I don't... Uh, I've got no idea. I'll make it up as I go along. See you with the Oh, we ain't. I'm here to fight. So, and that's it. Whatever's thrown at you, you're ready. Oh, we are. you confident? Always. Nah, nah. To be honest with you, I'm never confident. Really? Huh? I've got, I'm a, I've got multiple personalities. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll be there. But you'll be there and I'm ready there. to go. I'm always ready. Always ready. No, always ready. Thank you. Uh, Good luck tonight. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. Well, make of that what you will, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Let's hear from the king of BKB, Jimmy Sweeney. Jimmy, uh, an opponent, what do you know about him? Um, not really much. Um, an MMA fighter, I think he's a, a Thai boxer or something like that. So uh, I don't really know much about him, but uh, I, don't, I don't really know about fighters. I'm, I'm the experienced bare knuckle fighter here, so I, I, don't, I don't watch guys. I don't worry about them. I leave them to worry about me, so... Concentrating your own I'm just listen, if I if I do what I know I, I'm, I'm going to do, I, I have no problem beating anyone in this world, so... 20 and 1, and I know the 1 still rankles you, because yeah, yeah. there's nobody to blame but you. Yeah, yeah. everyone knows the story behind that. Um, f fucked around, went, went on the beer for about 6-7 weeks, fucked that up, lost that fight, um, broke my hand, I had the hand broke, but, but I come back, uh, I trained, um, and I beat I beat Julian Lin easy on the on the rematch and with a broken hand. But since since that loss, I've been a different fighter. I've, 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 and I'm getting better and better each fight. And now I'm down at my natural weight. I feel that I'm even better again. More comfortable. More comfortable. More confident. I feel more powerful, faster. I've, I've just I just have it all. Even at 34, I still I still have it all. He says, asking him about what he's bringing to the ring. He said, I don't know whether he's winding me up, but he said, I don't know. I won't know until the night. <laughs> but look, most fighters like that, they, they, they just... Uh, Make it up they, as they, they go along, he said. Like, some fighters just go in there with no game plan. They, they just see how, how it goes. Like, I don't have game plans when I, when I win, but uh, after 30 seconds, a minute, you, you, you you'll figure, out. you'll work it out. If you're a good fighter, you will. If, if you're not, you, you just stick the game plans on that. But don't get me wrong, people, fighters with game plans are smart. But, but I, I believe fighters with game, plan, game plans, it's more uh, professional fighters for, for the 12, 10, 12 rounds. Yeah. The longer the fight goes on, they change on that. But all fights, five, five rounds, seven rounds. So you shouldn't really have much of a game plan. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep off, I'm going to box. I'm gonna, I mean, so uh, I figured out first 30 seconds, I figure out what I'm going to do, and, I, and I'll do it, and I'll do it perfect. So it's really as well. 20 and 1, you're, listen, you're the one everybody wants to be. You're the scalp, you're, everybody wants to be. Everyone, everyone, wants, everyone wants a shot at me, Every, everyone, because they know, if someone beats me, that's it, they're, they're, they're the king, they're the best. But uh, uh, it's my job now, as a professional athlete, to, to, to keep myself in, in a position, trainer-wise, healthy-wise, that I'm not going to get beat again. So today it won't be any difference in that because it, I won't get beat, simple. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm an Irish traveller. I grew up, as I said, long, long, many times. I've grew up in, in looking at this, this, this sport since I was like a kid. So it's, it's not new to me. It's, it's, it's what I live for. So there's, there's no one going to come in here and beat me. Defeat's never been in your conscience, has it? You, you never I, think about I it. Don't, I don't fucking take the feet, man. I'm, I'm, I'm probably the worst person. That, I see box fighters there to, to get beat and, and sugar off and all that. Me, man, it kills me, absolutely kills me, because th this is why I fight. I fight for my father, yeah? Rest in peace, I fight for my father. So if I lose, I'm letting him down, and I've let him down once, and I will never, never do it again. Never do it again. Wonderful. Good stuff. Cheers, Jimmy. Good Thank luck. you. Good luck. Now, there is a man who's learned from his mistakes. Didn't prepare, got beat, blamed himself, didn't blame the ref, yeah. didn't blame the opponent, blamed himself, and has put himself in a position where he won't lose again. That's, that's what you must do. And that's not just fighting or sport. That's life. 
If you look for your flaw in the equation, it's something you can repair. If you say, oh, I got caught, or I was unlucky, or the universe conspired against me, there's nothing you can fix. But if you look for your flaw, your weakness, and, and, and repair that, that makes a man stronger. Look in the mirror. Yeah. Always yeah, you, first. Yeah. Always first. Robin? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, he, 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 I'm more confused by Colin Fletcher, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to ask you, because I've never heard anything like it. No, he's a strange character, isn't he? I mean, each to their own. You know, it's like Jimmy was saying there, you know, he looks confident, of, uh, uh, as always. You know, and he was saying, you know, that you can prepare for, you, you, you can have a game plan. You know, this guy hasn't got a, play, a, a game plan. That could be his strength. But Jimmy says he hasn't, but yeah. he says I'm quick enough in the brain yeah. to work out what I've got yes. to do. Yeah, I mean, a good tactician and a good fighter might start with a game, can have a game plan, but it can be a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, a plan D. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you have to change in mid-fight. It might not be going how you expect it to go. Do you know what I mean? You might get dropped early on. Everything goes out the window. You've got to do cat. You've got to play catch up. You know, so you've got to, I mean, and I'm not disagreeing with Jimmy, but what I'm saying, you've got to have some sort of game yeah. plan. You know, yeah. the audience doesn't necessarily see this, but whether it is you're using the Matrix or the Terminator as an example, sometimes an athlete, a great athlete like Jimmy, can just start to see it develop. Yeah. Yeah. The and picture that, opens the, up. Yeah, it just yeah. opens up for him. Uh, but at the same time, weird is hard in combat sports. Yes. Weird is hard. Weird, yeah. Well, yeah. we've got. He calls, himself the, he calls himself the freak show. So, yeah. Colin yeah. Fletcher, so right. we He's will see. He's backing it up. He's backing yep. it we up. We will see. Up. Let's cross to our ring announcer, Lee Druitt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your final contest is the main event of the evening. And it's scheduled for seven by two minute rounds. And it's for the BKB. Middleweight Championship of the World! Introducing first in the blue corner, fighting out of Sunderland, England, and making... Sorry, I'm a Jordy. Making his professional BKB debut, UFC legend, Colin the Freak Show Fletcher! Colin Fletcher from Sunderland making his BKB debut, but he's no inexperienced fighter. UFC fighter, MMA, 16 wins, no draws, 10 defeats. UFC, what do you know about him? He, he is, it's something we were saying before uh, Lee introduced him is, weird is hard, weird is difficult. You know, you train against training partners who after they throw a jab, they throw a left hook, or they step out a particular way. Unpredictability is very oh, difficult is to difficult. deal with. That's a good point. You Robert can't have a said. plan for that. Yeah, exactly. You can't, but if he doesn't know what he's doing, how are That's you supposed right. to know what he's going to yeah. do next? Do you, do you get me? So, yeah, you're right with that one. Weird is difficult. Yeah, weird is hard. It's hard and, to and, fathom out, yeah. And I know Tommy said to you, I have multiple personalities. He could have been joking. He could actually have multiple personalities, but as your fighter identity, if on the night you can be a jabber, you can be a game player, you can be a scrapper, if you can fight in multiple ways, that's difficult to deal with as well. That would be hard to deal with. Yeah. Spot on so well. now he's weird, now he's unpredictable, and now he might show up as three <laughs> different fighters. That, that's hard to do, hard to face. He's got a massive smile on his face, and he's got that Muay Thai I'm respect for other people as well. He is the fighting pride of Sligo Island with a professional BKB record of 20 wins and only one loss. 16 of those victories by way of KO. He is the king of the lightweights. He is the king of the middleweights. He is the BKB middleweight champion of the world, Jimmy the Celtic Warrior. Well, Jimmy Sweeney, we know his ring entrances are sometimes a bit special, so we'll enjoy this with you. He doesn't come in on the throne very often these days, does he? No, no, he's quieting down on the old throne there, the throne entrance. Still looks confident, no, he's confident, he's got the belt in, he's got the bling in the background. All the confidence in the world, and so he should do with the Listen, impact of talent he's 20 got. wins, one defeat, exactly. you, you have every right to be confident. I mean, he's box office, Jimmy Sweeney. 
his box office. People love him. Yeah. And it's a world middleweight title of his up for grabs. Colin Fletcher, of course, being the challenger, has to make the running. The, yeah, judges, course, make, the judges will be looking for him to make the running. He, Jimmy Sweeney hasn't got to do anything. He's got to take it up. Yeah, he's a challenger. He's got to make the play as such. Yes. Um, yeah, you're right on that one there, Tom. You know, he's got, nice, to <laughs> it he's got to come and take that title away, especially from a big name like Jimmy Sweeney in the BKB. You know, he's got, he can't just coast it. He's got to come, take that title away. Um, yeah, but we'll see what he's got. You know, is he playing mind games with the multiple personality comment? Yeah. Or is it for real? That could all be part of an app. Exactly, yeah. that's what I'm saying. He is might know games? exactly how he's going to play it. Yeah. Yes, very true. Well, here they come, face to face. And it's going to be Jimmy will be, I'm sure he'll be his junior snake charmer self with the hand that's trying to attract your attention before he whacks you with the other one. But I'm sure, I'm sure Colin will have studied him, you know, and, you know, he knows what, he knows what he other things. Well, we're off and running, seven oh, two minute round. Oh, oh, good shot. Colin landed one, but Jimmy landed at the same time, and, and that's over. He's got it. Oh, that's it. Well, he doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know what day. This could he be it. No, he, he doesn't know what day. He, he doesn't got. know where he is. His legs have gone. His legs gone. He's His legs caught. have gone. He doesn't look too. Uh, no, he blood bleeding from the mouth. Uh, his legs. It, the myself. first thing I look at is the legs. His legs went. Yeah, his legs have gone. Oh, the blood on his face. Eyes don't look too clear to me. I think he's going to be prepared for one. Yeah, he stepped forward. The referee's taking a bit of time. No, it's that's over. it. That's it. That's it's it. It's over. The referee Whoa. asked him a question, and whatever it was, he didn't give the right yeah, answer. He didn't give the right response. Woo. And that's it. He still doesn't look yeah. steady on his legs. No, to be he fair. doesn't. When they say, Do you know where you are? and your answer is Saturday, they <laughs> stop the fight. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by first round TKO. Well, here we go. And still, BKB. Middleweight champion of the world, Jimmy the Celtic Warrior, Sweeney! The champ's got something to say. I am the fucking king. Get the fuck! Let's cross to Robin Black, who's going to talk to the king of BKB, Jimmy Sweeney. Jimmy Sweeney, Fletcher. ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Colin Fletcher. Thank you, sir. And let's hear it for the undisputed king of bare knuckle. He's got a couple belts here we want to help him with. Jimmy Sweeney, let's hear it for these two gentlemen. You are the king of the lightweights. You are the king of the middleweights. I think it's safe to say you're the king of bare knuckle boxing. Would you agree, sir? Look, look, um, I look I'm the fucking best. I am the best. But look, uh, take my hat off the car and coming down. Taking a fight, the uh, first professional big career fight, so a lot of respect for the kid. Thank you for coming down. Um, Congratulations on a good fight. Yeah, thank you. As I said, as I said um, my, my last fight, as I said after, it's going to take me a while uh, for my body to get, to, to get used to being down this weight again. As everyone knows, um, my last fight, I lost 10 to 12 kilos four weeks out, so it took a lot out of me. But you see, I'm at the same weight. You see, I'm a different person altogether. I look fresh. I'm healthy as fuck, I'm strong, and, and I showed you the power is there, the speed is there, everything is there, so um, I, I was going to take a break for, for, for a few, for about six months, but fuck the break, bring on someone in January. <laughs> bring on someone in January. Now, Jimmy, I want to ask you, as the top bare knuckle boxer in the world, this is a sport of gentlemen and history and culture and art and science. And in America, people are popping up and taking off gloves and calling that bare knuckle. What do you got to say about that? Uh, look, look, um, whatever they do in America, that, I don't even think about that. I don't even worry about that. This, this is the home of BKB. This, this, uh, uh, that's, ruled, that's ruled by an Irish guy, yeah? <laughs> look, this is the home of BKB. Jim, Jim and Joe are, are the people that brought this here to the UK. Uh, I love the boys to bits. But what they do in America, let, let them look. I wish them all the best in America. Do their own thing. But this is where it is. If the boys in America want to come back and see what proper professional BKB is, we're fucking ready for you boys, yeah? Yes, sir. Now, Jimmy, you, you have come out and put on a, a virtuoso performance. You're at the top of your game. Who do you want to thank and what do you got coming up? Who do you want to fight in January? Listen, listen. 
When you're in my position as the undisputed pound, pound for pound best, I don't worry about people uh, who's next, who's this, who's that. Let them worry about me. I want the big names. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing word about a Carson Jones, the in talks with Carson Jones. Carson Jones, get over here, lad. I'll spark you as well, yeah? Well, Jimmy, I know you like to come in here, work hard, and go out and have a few drinks. So before you go and enjoy your night, what do you, li what do you got to say here to your fans and to everybody watching? Uh, just a massive thank you to, to all the fans that, that uh, spend their hard-earned money. Uh, they, they're the ones that make these shows, show that what it is. They're the ones that's putting good money in my pocket. Thank you. Yeah? But listen, we put on the show, but the, our shows wouldn't be anything without the fans. So a big, massive thank you to all the fans. Whether you love me or hate me, thank you so much. And I want to thank Colin Fletcher for coming out here bravely, facing the best in the world. Thank you very much, sir. And Jimmy Sweeney, the king of bare knuckle. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Oh, I'm the best, lad.